गुड मॉर्निंग माई डियर क्लास फाइव वेलकम टू आवर इंग्लिश क्लास विच लेसन डिड बी लर्न इन आवर लास्ट क्लास येस इट वॉज अ पॉम इज इट दैट येस डिड यू ऑल रीड द टेक्सट बुक वेरी गुड चिल्ड्रन ओके नाउ इट्स मो विथ अ ग्रामर टॉपिक टूडे आई यू रेडी फॉर दैट ओके चिल्ड्रन कैन यू क्विकली रिकॉल अबाउट द पार्ट्स ऑफ स्पीच विच वी लर्न इन आवर ग्रामर येस वी लर्न डिफरेंट पार्ट्स ऑफ स्पीच इज इन दैट What are they? Yes, noun, pronoun, adjective, verb, adverb, preposition, conjunction, interjunction, isn't it? Yes. Today we are going to learn something more about adverb. We are going to learn something more about adverb. What did we learn? Yes, adverbs add something more to the meaning of a verb. You are understanding something more about the verb given in a sentence. So that word, it is the adverb in that sentence. Just see this example. They talked softly during the class. Which is the verb in this sentence? Yes, talked. That is the action which is being taking place. Okay, so which will be the adverb? Just ask a question. How did they talk? So we are getting the answer. softly yes we are adding a meaning to the verb softly that is the adverb in the sentence in the same way see the second sentence the movie started late started that is the verb given here what are you understanding more about the verb oh it started late that is the adverb in the sentence so you understood about adverbs yes children adverbs are of different types whichever adverb is given we can categorize them into different types now let us see different kinds of adverbs that is adverb of manner adverb of place adverb of time adverb of frequency and adverb of degree adverb of manner adverb of manner tells us how or in what manner an action is done It is adding something more to the verb, isn't it? Just see the example. They helped us cheerfully. Which is a verb in this? Helped. So, how did they help? Yes, cheerfully. We are getting the answer cheerfully. So, what type of adverb is it? Adverb of manner. My brother drives fast. My brother drives fast. So, driving that is the verb fast. how he drives fast that is the adverb that is adverb of manner children adverb of manner can normally be followed by adding ly to the adjectives happy happily cheerful cheerfully in most of the cases it is like that adverb of place adverb of place tells us where or at what place an action is done see the example please sit here where we have to sit here so adverb of place is here they looked everywhere everywhere that is adverb of place the next type is adverb of time this adverb of time tells us when or at what time an action is done so we told that ad adverb is something which adds meaning to the verb he came yesterday so just ask a question when did he come we are getting the answer yesterday so it is adverb of time i want it now when do you need it i need it now so now is adverb of time next we have adverb of frequency this adverb of frequency tells us how often or how frequently an action is done or how frequently an action takes place see he reads the newspaper daily so when is this happening and how often it is happening daily it is happening so daily is adverb of frequency we sometimes watch a movie which is the adverb in this sometimes so it is de denoting the frequency or how often that action of watching the movie is happening times that is adverb of frequency
Next kind of adverb is adverb of degree. Adverb of degree tells us the degree or extent to which something happens. How much it may happen that is called as the extent. Example, she entirely agrees with him. Which is the adverb in this? Yes, entirely. Manisha is very beautiful. See, see the extent of a, uh, happening. Manisha is very beautiful. Very, that is adverb of degree. He drove quite dangerously. How did he drive? Quite dangerously. The extent of an action, that is adverb of degree. Children, you have to keep in your mind, an adverb not only adds the meaning of a verb, but it is also adding to the meaning of an adjective or another adverb also. So, if it is like that, how can we say? Yes, an adverb can be described as a word that adds something to the meaning of a verb, an adjective or another adverb. So, always keep this thing in your mind. What is an adverb? Clear children? Let's move on with the textual exercises. Now, let us see the textual exercises. Okay, please take page number 54 and be ready with a pencil. Let us try page number 54. Fill in the blanks with the correct adverbs from the box. So, so many adverbs are given in the box. You have to fill in the blanks with the correct adverb. First one, he solved the problem. Which adverb will come? He solved the problem easily. E-A-S-I-L-Y. He solved the problem easily. Second one, they were flying kites on the dash. They were flying kites on the top of the hill. Yes, top of the hill. Very good. Now, third one. She answered all the questions. Dash. She answered all the questions correctly. What type of adverb it is? Yes, adverb of manner. Okay, very good. He got up. Dash. He got up early in the morning. He got up. Early in the morning. Did you mark? Fourth one. Now fifth one. My mother cooks food dash. My mother cooks food dash. My mother cooks food daily. Daily. Okay. Very good. Now next one. Sixth one. He dash smokes. He dash smokes. Which, which adverb will come from the bracket? Yes. He Never, never, he never smokes. So, it is easy to find the adverb, isn't it? So, four more questions are there. Can you complete as homework? Okay, good children. Next, we have the writing corner. A session, underline the adverbs in the following sentences and write them in the columns given below. Children, did you see the box? We have the serial number. Then we have adverb of manner, adverb of place. Adverb of time, adverb of frequency, adverb of degree. So, from the given sentences, you have to identify the adverb, underline it and you have to write it in the correct box. Okay. Now, first question, you are always welcome. Which is the adverb in that sentence? Yes, always. Underline always. Which type of adverb it is? Always. Always. We are telling about the Frequency of an action, isn't it? Yes, it is adverb of frequency. Please write in the box adverb of frequency to the first one you can write always. Now, second one, she came forward. She came forward. Forward is the adverb in that sentence. What type of adverb it is? Forward. Yes, she came forward. Adverb of place. Adverb of place. Very good. Now, third one, may I leave now? May I leave now? Tell me, may I leave now? Yes, now, that is the adverb. So, please underline now. What type of adverb it is? Adverb of time. Adverb of time. So, in that box, adverb of time box, you have to write third one, now. Now, next one, I was terribly upset. I was Terribly upset. Yes, I was terribly upset. Tell me which is the adverb. 
terribly. Don't get confused by simply seeing ly. Don't tell that it is manner. Terribly. We are telling about the intensity of upset, isn't it? Yes, it is adverb of degree. Very good. Fifth one. He is entirely wrong. Entirely wrong. Which is the adverb in that? Entirely. What type of adverb it is? We are telling about the extent, isn't it? So, adverb of degree. So, in that box, you have to write fifth one. Now, sixth one, we visit them frequently. How often we used to visit them? Yes, we are telling you that we are visiting them frequently. So, adverb of frequency, which is adverb? Frequently, that is adverb of frequency. May I come in? May I come in? Which is the adverb in that? Yes, in. What type of adverb? Adverb of place. Adverb of place. Did you underline in? Eighth one. Have you seen him before? Have you seen him before? Yes, which is the adverb in that? Before is the adverb. What type of adverb? Have you seen him before? We are asking about the time, isn't it? Ah, uh, Yes, adverb of time. He is seriously ill. He is seriously ill. Which is the adverb in that? Which one you have to underline? Seriously. What type of adverb? Adverb of manner. Manner. Good. You are absolutely right. You are absolutely right. Which is the adverb? Absolutely. Absolutely. So, what type of adverb? Yes, adverb of degree adverb of degree so did you complete did you underline the adverbs now in page number 56 we have the next b session fill in the blanks with the appropriate adverbs easy one isn't it you have to fill in the blanks with the appropriate adverbs first one i will dash return from this please find i will soon return okay he decided to go dash he decided to go there. He decided to go there. Good. Third one. I dash go to my uncle's house. I. Yes. Frequency isn't it? I often. I often go to my uncle's house. Fourth one. She was dash surprised. She was dash surprised. He, she was pleasantly surprised. Yes. Manner. She was pleasantly surprised. Fifth one. I am dash prepared. Which adverb from this box will come? I am fully prepared. Fully prepared. So, please write fully. Now, sixth one. This is dash enough. This is good enough. We used to say like that, isn't it? This is good enough. She can speak German dash. Well, well. So, three more questions are there. So, try to do that. Three more questions. It's your homework and you have to tell me the answers in the next class. Now, I have a small activity for you. In your page number 56, you have a fun corner. A grid is given. Word grid is given. So, from that word grid, from this word grid, you have to find out 10 adverbs and you have to circle it. So, will you complete after studying adverbs? Okay, very good. So, complete the textual exercises and homework. We will meet in the next class with a new topic. Thank you my dear children.